Hi folks, how's it going? Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. I'm here again at the Sweet Cumin Cookery School and Vinny just made me this stonking Indian omelette and this is how you make it. Right, I'm leaving her to it. See you later. <laughs> Thank you, Barry. Let him sit down whilst he's gonna have a lovely meal there. Off you go. <laughs> So this is how you make my spicy Indian omelette. You're gonna need some coriander, some ginger, garlic and chili, then some salt, and then you hit the spices. So the spices are coriander and cumin, turmeric, garam masala, and chili powder. You also need some vegetable oil and, <laughs> really and good. some- Really good, you okay there? I am, thank you, yeah, and uh, some butter. All right, cheers. So those are the raw ingredients you need. First of all, Barry, Crack the eggs into the little bowl and then whiz them up. A good pinch of coriander, which is fresh, makes it lovely and you know, lovely colours. Then you've colours in there. Woo! Fantastic colours. Yeah. Then you've got the ginger, probably about a quarter teaspoon, half a teaspoon, it's up to you. Garlic, a third of a teaspoon, fresh chilies, so fresh green chilies, a pinch of salt, a coriander and cumin, about half a teaspoon, mm, and good. then Garam masala is usually a half of that quantity, so it's a quarter teaspoon, a pinch of chilli powder and a pinch of turmeric. So give it a good old whiz. In the frying pan you would add a little bit of oil and some butter. Allow that butter to sort of infuse in that oil, just makes it lovely and, and sort of uh, creamy. So good, look at it. You've got to try this, you've got to make this, it's so easy. Sorry, so Karen, am I in the way? It's no, it's great as a sandwich filler. Do you want to try uh, some more? Yeah. Mm, mm, uh, amazing. Mm, mm, oh, I'll mm, go back and eat it. Really it's good, good right? Yeah. You're then going to add in all the mixture. Allow the egg mixture to be even all the way around and sometimes you can use like the these fish slice just to sort of spread it around. Just allow that egg to cook on one side and then flick it over, cook the other side, nice golden brown and then basically have your plate ready and then flick it onto your plate and then ready to eat. There's nothing else about it. It's delicious. Oh, we actually topped it with a little bit of fresh coriander on the top. And that was it. That was it. Like Job it? done, was it? That's oh, it. Is. That was so good. That is how easy it is to make. <laughs> Billy can tell you the recipe and I only got halfway through it. The flavours are so, so good in here. Like playing around with all those spices like a magician. Enjoy it. Make it your own. But that is how you make Billy's Indian omelette. Thank you very much. Hello folks, it's been a real pleasure for Binny to be able to tell me how to make a stompingly good recipe. The flavours, there's so many levels in there. Do you know what? I just want to eat it right now. I'm not going to because then that you'd get really jealous. And what we want you to do is to try it and make it yourself. So if you enjoyed this recipe and you want Binny to do some more recipes, let me know below. But Binny, if you want to get in touch with Binny, here you can get in touch. Thank you very much, Barry. Uh, you can catch me on www.sweetcumin.co.uk and Twitter and Facebook. Cool. So check it out and our question to you is, if you made this yourself, what sort of things would you add to it to really put your personality into the dish? Make it your own. Mmm. Mm. I'd probably put some chicken in there. Mmm. Onions for me. Yeah. <laughs> See you next time. I'm just going to go and eat it and tell Vinny how she did it. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Cookery school yet again and uh, today, Vinny... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Delicious omelette and the ingredients I use are as follows. 